Well, good morning on this day of February 2012. Let's see, it's February 17th. Half the month is gone. Oh my gosh. And uh, Bugs in a Rug was on here. Hi, Chris. With her empty tube. Yeah, I'm not. I have been so freaking busy. It's ridiculous. I mean, I'm watching my granddaughter and other stuff going on. Um, so, yeah. And then poor Penelope got so sick yesterday. She got the flu. I mean, really bad. It was not good for her to lay on me falling asleep. <laughs> That's not my girl. She usually never stops. But we got her into the doctor and got some medicine because there's a strain of flu, a new one. And uh, she seems to be doing a little better today. But you know how the flu goes? You feel good and then all of a sudden you don't feel so good after you're up a while. So I hope she's okay. So, um, so, uh, let's see. Oh, I, I got a candy box from, a, bo a candy box, a box of candy from Dave for, um, Valentine's Day, and it's, uh, Russell Stover, you know, and it's, of course, in the heart shape, and when I opened it, the cardboard, you know, that, like, you pull the heart off, it's the box top thing, what, well, the cardboard just came off, <laughs> Russell Stover, get your stuff together, man, <laughs> I mean, it, it was just weird, and I heard, um, my, my son had given his wife candy, and the same thing happened with their box of Russell Stover, <clears throat> they do have good candy, I see. I was writing notes down, and I got to talk with um, Irene and Steve, Irene Kay and Steve, over there in their little love nest now. <laughs> I got to talk to them on Skype. That was so much fun. Um, they're, they're, just, <clears throat> they're just smoochy moochy. Yeah. They're fun. Um, I need to, <clears throat> really, I need to get out of this house. And I'm, I don't know, as a certain stage in your life, do you get where you not sure what you want to do? But uh, I mean, especially just getting out. It's like, eh. But um, I've seen, you know, I don't know. I guess each person does a different <clears throat> stage of life. But I'm, <clears throat> as you see, there's stuff around the back here. I'm reorganizing stuff because um, fixing up the the guest room so there's a little more room in it besides my crest. <laughs> because um, I don't know, this year we may have guests. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometime this year somebody might be coming over to visit. Okay, let's see what else is going on. What else is on my list of list of stuff? I made banana bread. Yeah, in fact, <clears throat> yesterday when I watched Penelope and then she got sick, but I was in a good mood and I'm getting things done and have bananas ready to make banana bread and she got all sick. But after her mom got her and took her to the doctor, I ended up making the banana bread. <clears throat> And it came out pretty darn good, yeah. Even if I do say so myself. Yeah, so, yeah, I need to make an appointment and get my hair trimmed up. And, uh, oh, I need to get my driver's license renewed this year. Which shouldn't be too bad. I think they just ask you, like, um, road signs and stuff, you know. Yeah. I was thinking about... 
in New York many years ago. Dave and I went to New York, and we took the kids with us. Um, and they thought it was cool, you know, being in New York. And Dave took me to see Cats. Yeah, I don't think it's on Broadway anymore, though. I'm not sure. But anyway, we had a really, really good time out there. That was really cool. And I was thinking about maybe going back someday and seeing another uh, Broadway show. Broadway, Broadway. But we will see. You know, we make we make plans. And a lot of things needs to be done around this house. I don't know. I'm just jabbering about stuff. But I was just gonna get on here, you know, and fill you in on what's going on. Um, yeah, let's see. Um, <laughs> Chris, I thought that was really cute about the wrench, but I do understand about the wrench because my, uh, well, Claire's dad is a mechanic and I, yeah, those wrenches are pretty cool. The big ones, they make that noise. <laughs> I actually, um, a torque wrench, they're pretty pricey, but of course, the mechanics need that, and I had gotten him one for his birthday, I think. Surprised him with the torque wrench. He was so excited. He <laughs> thought I bought him the world. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, nothing else really going on. Um, I was supposed to go to Fort Leavenworth and watch my grandnephew yeah but um, my niece got a found a babysitter well a nursery that they they did take him so I would have had to got up way early to get out there but you know he's a little cutie and um, yeah I know I haven't been singing but you know I need to probably, oh, I probably need to go for a doctor's visit sometime. I, I, I guess when you get older, you're supposed to get really get checked out, but I haven't in quite a few years. I'm not a real doctor person, and all they want to do is give you pills. Oh, speaking of which, medication. Oh, my gosh. They're making a killing on us. They charge way too much for medicine. I mean, come on. Jeez. And then the poor kids today are barely making it, you know, because of the price of stuff and trying to live and have a home and pay utilities and all this stuff. And they have to meet a deductible, not only on the medical, like going to the hospital, but on their medicine. On their medicine. I mean, like, could you give them a break? Just let them pay the copay. And I guess they do kind of do it because a lot of people take advantage of the system because they know they'll get their medicine for, you know, four or ten dollars. And so they just keep going back and forth to the doctor for nothing. Or I guess they could take advantage of it and resell it. I don't know. Anyway. And... I know, just make make it so you, if you're not, if they could tell you don't go to the doctor a lot, just when needed, then give those people a special offer. And people that go all the time, unless it's really legitimate. I mean, of course, there's a lot of really sick kids or stuff out there that, you know, need a lot of doctor. I don't know, there's no easy way. Is there? <clears throat> I feel like I'm going to, i got a little sore throat. But hopefully it doesn't turn into the flu. No flus. No flus here. No. Just, okay, I won't say that. Okay, well, I guess that's all I got to say today. Um, I, I, um, it's good to see everybody. Hi, how are you doing? And I've run up, look at this. Nine minutes, almost, oh, we're going on ten minutes, so sorry. 
if you can if you made it this far kudos so have a great day and a great weekend and keep smiling and stay away from that nasty bug doodly do ta ta a farewell bye